Hello students, now let's do few more problems on inverse of a function. The first one is this, we need to find inverse of this piecewise defined function where f is from 0, 4 to 0, 6. Okay. Now, let me give you the graph of this function so that you get a better idea. The graph looks like this, from 0 to 2 it's x square from 2 to 4, it's x plus 2. Now, how do we backtrack? For 0 to 4, backtracking will be done by red curve and from 4 to 6, backtracking will be done by blue line. Now, say from 0 to 4, we take 3 there. 3 will backtrack by red curve. While going, it was square, so while coming back, it should be square root. So, f inverse x here should be root of x. From 4 to 6, let us take 5. While going, it was x plus 2. So, by coming back, it should be minus 2. So, x minus 2. Combining it, we get our answer. From 0 to 4, f inverse x is root x and from 4 to 6, f inverse x is x plus 2. Moving ahead, we have this example. We are given that fx is equal to its inverse and fx is kx plus 3, we got to find k. Simple, we'll first find inverse and then equate it to fx to find k. Now, for finding inverse, we will express x in terms of y. As y is kx plus 3, x will be y minus 3 upon k. And hence, we have inverse equal to x by k minus 3 by k. Now, as given, f inverse x is equal to fx. So, this should be equal to this. Now, comparing coefficients, we have 1 by k equal to k and 3 equal to minus 3 by k. So, we get k equal to plus minus 1 from first equality and k equal to minus 1 from second equality. As there is and in between them, so taking intersection we get k equal to minus 1. So, basically you did nothing, you found f inverse x and equate it to fx to get k. Now, let's have another example. We got to find inverse of f where fx is x plus 1 by x. Okay, I take it equal to y and try to express x in terms of y. It becomes quadratic and we get two values of x. One is this and another is this. Now, what to do? We know inverse is unique. If f is this one way, f inverse is also one way. So, f inverse should be unique. Which of the following is correct? Now, we'll use if f is from a to b, f inverse is from b to a. So, f inverse should be from minus infinity minus 2 to minus infinity minus 1. So, taking y equal to minus 3, we find x we get x equal to minus 0.3815 in this case, approximately minus 0.38 and minus 2.61 in this case. Now, this belongs to minus infinity minus 1, whereas this does not belong. So, that expression should be wrong and this expression should be right. So, this is wrong and this is my inverse. So, f inverse x is x minus root of x square minus 4 equal to 2. Basically, in this case, we learned two things. Number one, f inverse is unique. Number two, if we need to check which one is correct, use that f inverse will be from b to a. Okay, now moving ahead, we have this example. We got to find m for which this function becomes invertible. Now, don't get confused. Simple condition. Keep it in mind. Very important. A function is invertible if and only if it is bijective. So, we need to know 
for which values of m this is bijective. Now, cubic polynomial always has range real, I told you. So, it is on to. So, we only got to make sure that it is 1 1. For 1 1, we know f dash should be either only positive greater than equal to 0 or only less than equal to 0. It is a quadratic with a positive. We can make this quadratic always greater than equal to 0 doing this. We know a condition for quadratic to be always positive. So, A is already positive. Taking D less than equal to 0, we get M squared is less than equal to 9. That is M lies between minus 3 to 3. So, for these values of M, it will be 1, 1. It is already on to being a cubic polynomial. So, it is bijective and hence it is invertible. This is a good question. Spend some time as I used to say, spend some time on this question. So, keep practicing. God bless. Take care.